when it comes to the Marvels, I don't think any of us are excited for it. It is a film thrown together, and the glue are the strong woman characters that Marvel has to use. And now Brie Larson has reportedly grew disillusioned with her role and doesn't want to play the part anymore. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, make sure to check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. So I wanted to start off with this Bounding Into Comics article. It says a new report claims that actress Brie Larson has grown disillusioned with the role of Captain Marvel in the MCU and that she no longer wants to play the character anymore. Now, of course, she has faced so much backlash over the years because of her role and more notably because of the way that she has acted, right? She has acted so full of herself. I mean, she has a massive ego and she acted very disrespectful respectful to her Infinity War co-stars like Chris Hemsworth, and those are big reasons why people simply do not like her. If she was a more likable actress, I don't think she would have faced so much backlash, and unfortunately for her, that is never going to go away, right? The internet never forgets. It may be years and years and years since we saw the Captain Marvel film, but she is always going to face criticism because of the way that she has acted, and she hasn't really changed over the years. So, according to new reports, she no longer wants to play the character, and part of that is because of the backlash she's faced, but she really only created the backlash herself. It says, as reported by the Direct, the author claims that Larson grew disillusioned with her role in the book MCU The Reign of Marvel Studios. Specifically, they wrote, the future of those Marvel icons was unclear. The departure of franchise actors like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and Scarlett Johansson had already taken its toll, as had the shocking loss of Chadwick Boseman, but other MCU stalwarts were heading for the exits. The Guardians of the Galaxy cast went on a farewell tour, Brie Larson grew disillusioned, and Marvel tussled with Sony in a custody battle over Tom Holland. Now, yes, um, I, I do think the MCU MCU has suffered for sure since people like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans have left. But they were really banking on Captain Marvel years ago when this film came out in 2019. I mean, they really wanted her to be the next face of the MCU. They, of course, tried to say that she is the strongest character in the MCU and she's going to be in a lot of projects coming up. And while she has been in a few things, she definitely has not picked up popularity, the actress or the character. And now that they've gotten to the point where they are having her star in these movies and she's kind of the face of these films, it has not worked out for them, and I don't think it ever is going to. But it says, during an appearance on the Watch podcast, Robinson also added, I don't know if Brie Larson was the wrong person for the role necessarily, but the toxic backlash means that Brie Larson doesn't want to play Carol Danvers anymore. Again, she has created a lot of the negativity for herself. I mean, all we have really done is criticize her, and I hate actors and actresses that can't take criticism. Like, you are a public figure, you are in movies that millions of people are watching, we are allowed to criticize you, but it just seems like she can't take the heat. It says that's sort of what she said. She was interviewed at D23, and they're like, so you know we're gonna see a bunch more from Carol Danvers, and she's like, I don't know, does anyone want to see me play Carol Danvers anymore? Doesn't seem like it. The problem, again, is just the way that she has acted, the way she has gone into interviews. She says things like that that still are not accepting of the fact that, again, she's a public figure who we can criticize. Unfortunately, maybe for her, um, her version of Captain Marvel is awful. The only thing that this character has going for her is her gender. She's a strong, independent woman that doesn't need friends, doesn't need men, doesn't really need anybody, and Brie Larson really only makes that worse. The article also goes on to say Robinson went into detail that Larson wanted to leave the role and it was not the case during 
the filming of Endgame. So when Endgame was happening, she was uh, very hopeful. You know, she did not want to quit. She wanted to stick it out with this role. She only recently has decided that she no longer wants to play this character. It says, though, as Robinson notes, Larson previously informed Variety at D23 in September 2022 that she didn't think anyone wanted her to reprise her role of Captain Marvel or Carol Danvers again. I'm sorry, your character is not good. You are just not a great actress. I have never really liked Brie Larson, and she definitely picks a certain type of role. She recently had a, a chemistry show come out, and of course, she is is like a scientist and she is of course very strong-willed strong-minded so she's also picking these roles for herself but we have heard so much negative news surrounding the Marvels. Of course, there really isn't a lot of hype, and we know that the runtime is a short 90 minutes. The sequel to Captain Marvel will be the MCU's shortest flick to date, and the rumor is that they have a lot of footage. Like, they could have made this a you know, two, two and a half hour movie easily, but they decided not to because they weren't really sure if this movie was even going to do well. And of course, when you have a film at the box office that's like a two and a half, three hour movie, people say that it's too long and then that pushes potential viewers away. Shorter movies do tend to do better because they're shorter to sit through and then it's like, eh, I, I didn't lose as much time watching this movie, but this just all screams bad news for the MCU and also the Marvels. I personally have never had any hype behind this film. I don't care about any of the characters. Captain Marvel I don't like. Miss Marvel I don't care about. Uh, you also have Tayana Paris's Monica Rambo. I'm just not a fan of any of these characters and the trailer was filled with like this cringy like feminist humor. It's just not for me, and I know it's not for a lot of you, and I do think that this movie is going to struggle at the box office. I've also talked about how the week after this releases, the Hunger Games movie comes out, so Disney does also have this battle of kind of their actresses right now because Rachel Zegler is starring in that, and she is going to be playing Snow White in the future, so there's just a lot of, uh, a, a lot of bad news surrounding the Marvels. It does seem like it could be a very big failure for Marvel. Only time will tell. But yes, apparently Brie Larson wants to quit her role as Captain Marvel and she doesn't want to play the part anymore. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.